Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and clearly we need to have a little chat. As you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a beauty community tag and I also want to sort of in a roundabout way address some statements that have been made about our community. You and I, everybody watching this, all the people you see recommended over here, this is the beauty community, us right here. So let's just start off by saying that the tag that I'm doing today was created by a very lovely lady named Kara. I just watched her video the other day. It was my first time watching her and I thought this tag was really cool, really well done, and I liked her vibe a lot. I'm looking forward to watching more of her content and getting to know more about her in the future. While I'm not super familiar with her or her channel, I highly recommend that you go check out her video where she started this tag. She seems like a really cool person and I think this is such a cool idea for a tag, so definitely check out Kara. And I will be getting to her tag questions in just a minute. Play her questions are based on recommending your favorite YouTubers and just sort of spreading some positive community love. We definitely need that all the time and especially now. So I'm gonna do her questions, but first I feel like I would be remiss not to sort of share a little bit about my story as somebody who's, you know, actually in the beauty community. I find it so insulting for somebody to come in here and say that our community is toxic and that everything's based on negativity. That's not only insulting to me and my YouTube friends, it's insulting to you too because it insinuates that you who are watching this video, who are consuming beauty content, it insinuates that you're looking for nothing more than some sort of sideshow and that you're not here for fun and positivity and good information and useful reviews and artistry. All of those things I know you're here for and that's what I'm here for and almost every single person I've ever met in my over five years in this community, that's what we're all here for. Sorry, I know I'm getting fired up, but I get so mama bear when people are being mean to my friends. <laughs> I don't care at all if people are mean to me, but once you're mean to my friend, that's it. Then I'm mad. I'm gonna try to tone it down for this video. I'm really gonna try. A lot of you who watch me here may not know, but Makeup Just For Fun actually started on Instagram. So a lot of my super close friendships in the beauty community actually originate from Instagram. I started Makeup Just For Fun about five years ago. I joined at a really terrible time in my life. I was physically and mentally as unhealthy as I have ever been in my almost 35 years on this earth. I have met some of my closest friends, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that. People who I have spent actual time with, who I have traveled with, who have opened their homes to me and let me stay with them. People who call me when they're crying, people who I call when I'm crying, people who show up. That's the beauty community. That's the realty. I'm not saying that I've never had a negative experience. Of course I have. Of course I've met people who were rude or narcissistic. I've had bad interactions with influencers and beauty brands of all sizes. That has happened. That is such a tiny fraction, such a tiny fraction of the reality of the beauty community that if that is all you encounter, I don't even know what to tell you. Buy a lottery ticket because the vast majority of us are not that. So there are a lot of people from my Instagram life who I'm not going to be naming in this tag because this is really about YouTube, but some of my fellow Instagram beauty community members are literally like family to me. We've met each other's families, we've stayed at each other's homes, we've met each other's kids and spouses, and it's wild to me that that can just be completely negated. I can't, I don't. 
Anyway, before I just completely lose it, let's get into the tag that was created by Kara. Kara, once again, thank you for this tag. This is such a beautiful idea. So I'm gonna be answering her 10 tag questions. And some of these people are my real life friends. I have the joy of knowing them outside of YouTube or Instagram or whatever. Some of them I have never ever met and I would probably love to meet. Not everybody on my list is specifically a makeup YouTuber. We got some skincare, we got some hair care, we got some fashion thrown in there, we got some nail polish, but I feel like we're all just one big beauty family, right? So, number one is a creator who makes you laugh. No question, the absolute first person that popped into my mind was my friend, the queen of color, Angie and Yelika Nikfis. I can tell you from experience, I have had the pleasure of meeting her in person once and we've been friends kind of behind the scenes online for a while. She is just as quick-witted, funny, sarcastic, Jo like joyful, just easy to be around. She laughs a lot. She makes everybody else laugh a lot. Not only is she super talented, incredibly gorgeous, but she is <laughs> legitimately so funny. Her new makeup release videos are actually how I started watching her and she is so funny in those. Oh man, classic Angie. Number two is a creator who teaches you. Now this is somebody that I have never met, I do not know, but I love, love watching Hiram for all things skincare. I have learned so much from him. His videos are approachable, they're really easy to watch. He doesn't talk down to people. They're just incredibly informative and at the same time very easy to digest. I just have a lot of respect for Hiram and for his channel. Okay, question number three. I'm answering with another one of my friends. <laughs> this is a creator that lifts others up. Super easy to answer. This is my friend Samantha March. She has such positivity just radiating off of her. She never comes off as being really jaded or really over it. She just approaches all of her projects with so much enthusiasm and so much joy. She's so authentic and there's no way to not feel better after watching her. Number four is a creator who you respect. Oh man, this is Jaleesa Jacarin. She is, first of all, she is one of the most insanely talented makeup artist. I'm gonna show you some of her work over here. Her work is so beautiful, flawless, provokes so much feeling, and she takes such care with her work. You can tell it's not just a job, it's a craft, but it doesn't end there. Not only is she a ridiculously talented makeup artist, she also has a YouTube channel. She has a podcast called The Life of a Makeup Artist. She also helps run this project called Artists Making a Difference where they have events, they give people makeovers, and they give away product. They just help out people, communities, organizations that could benefit from artistry and hair services. She is someone that I have had the pleasure of meeting several times. Even though I consider her to be my friend, I never really stop being in awe of her talent and just her drive and all of these amazing projects that she creates. Please check out some of her work and some of her projects. She has all of my respect. I'm sure that once you start watching her and kind of consuming her content, she's gonna have yours too. Number five is a creator whose collection you love. I have two answers for this one. Yes, they are both my friends. First is Karen Harris. She has such a cool collection and she has tons of makeup just like I do. Karen has such a good mix of really mainstream brands but she also has a ton of indie brand makeup and I feel like it would be so fun to go into her beauty room and to get to play with a bunch of makeup that I've never tried before. So definitely Karen came to mind. Also kind of cheating but my friend Emma from Colourpop Cult Technically, she does have a YouTube channel as well, so she can qualify for this tag, but she is someone I mainly know from Instagram. She runs the ColourPop Cult Instagram, and if you think I have a lot of ColourPop, 
Emma has like every ColourPop product ever. She's also an incredible resource for information about ColourPop and a lot of indie brands as well. So I highly, highly recommend checking her out and definitely follow her on Instagram because she always has the scoop on everything. Number six is a creator whose creativity inspires you. My answer for this one is Hannah Louise Poston. I've chatted with her a little bit here and there. I've never met her. I would love to meet her. She seems like such a cool, just intrinsically creative person. The way that she thinks about things and experiments with things is so intriguing to me. She definitely has a really different way of looking at her makeup products than most everybody else that I follow here on YouTube. I love watching the way that she mixes shades, does makeup playtime, just the way her brain works out how to apply makeup, how to mix things, how to repurpose products. It really is a truly beautiful thing to see. Plus she has such a soothing demeanor. I just really, I really like her channel all around, but her creativity definitely inspires me. Okay, number seven is a creator you wanna be friends with in real life. And I don't know, this might surprise you guys. <laughs> because I have tried to make my channel very family friendly, I mean, I have a lot of little nieces that watch me, but the creator I wanna be friends with <laughs> is Teresa from Teresa is Dead. She's another person that I've chatted with here and there online, but I've never met her in person. She is just so funny, so sarcastic. She's not afraid to throw around some swear words. So all of my viewers who watch with kids probably wait until they're in bed before you start watching Teresa. But I think I would have so much fun hanging out with her. I think we would have a lot in common. We'd have a lot to talk about. We'd have a good time. Just like, I don't know, going out for burgers and beers. I just, I would love to meet her. I think it would be a really good time and she would probably have me laughing all night long. Teresa, hit me up. When are you coming to DC? <laughs> okay, a creator that you want to see grow. This is someone who I've been really friendly with. I met her through Instagram. She sort of recently started her YouTube channel. Her name is Larissa and her channel is Polish Lab Rat. I started following her on Instagram because she was doing these really in-depth comparisons for nail polish colors. I ended up buying a bunch of things she recommended. I forget if I messaged her or if I shared her page or something and that's how we started talking. She is super funny. Don't get me wrong, she's incredibly informative. Her tutorials, her comparisons, her reviews are on point, very, very info-based but her personality is just kind of silly. She's just all around really awesome. It's like everything you could want from a YouTube channel. Really, really good information. Really funny, fun to watch creator. I know that her channel's gonna take off, but I would love to see her just crushing it, dominating nail YouTube. Polish Lab Rat, go check her out, subscribe. Number nine is a creator that gives off good vibes. And I'm gonna list two people here, one of which is my friend Amy from Amy Loves Makeup. If you've ever watched her, her videos, she seemed really sweet, kind of bubbly, kind of chill. And you know what? She's like that in life, in person. She really is genuinely super sweet, super easy to be around, just a very gentle soul. She's just pure goodness. She really is. Her vibes online are what her vibes are in life. She's just sweet heart. The other person that I wanna list is not a beauty YouTuber, but it's Ashley from Best Dressed. I'm not a fashionista, obviously. I'm wearing like a queen band tee with a toothpaste stain on it and old librarian sweater that I haven't washed in three months. <laughs> but I love watching Ashley's videos. Her content's great, don't get me wrong, her style is cool, but I like watching her videos because of her. She comes off as really genuine, really funny. I would actually wanna be her friend in real life too, except she would have to pick out my outfits for me because I don't know how to wear anything except stained t-shirts and leggings, but I'm sure she could help me out with that. I just like watching her videos because it just makes, me, just makes me feel good. She just seems very sweet and genuine, even when she curses. We're to the last question. Man, thanks for sticking with me if you've gotten this far because I have just been a rambling hot mess. It is what it is. Number 10 is just a place to list some honorable mentions. So I wanted to mention a couple channels that I 
genuinely love watching. I've been subscribed to for a really long time. I watch all of their videos and none of them are my real life friends. Although any of them can hit me up if they want to. These three channels that I'm gonna mention for my honorable mentions could have fit into any or all of the categories above. First is Nisa from Nisi Pisa. Hilarious, love her videos. She's not only super funny, but she has great commentary. Her sketches and skits that she films always crack me up. I am quick to click on her videos. Next is Lauren May Beauty. Lauren's channel is one that I have genuinely been religiously watching for a really long time. She's a working makeup artist, so I trust her opinions and her reviews. She also does some more experimental makeup styles on herself, and I just like that she's really straight to the point. She's not too serious, but she's definitely not like a silly, funny channel. She just is a very much what you see is what you get. I've been enjoying her channel for a long time and I genuinely trust the things that she has to say. And lastly, I don't know if this counts, but as far as channels that I genuinely really like to watch, I love Brad Mondo. I know he does hair videos. Hair's kind of counts in the beauty world, I think. He cracks me up. He's so funny. He's so extra. His reaction videos never fail to cheer me up. Brad's channel blew up a year or two ago, which I think is great. His content is genuinely funny. On the flip side, he does a lot of really informational videos. So here's to hoping he hasn't done anything problematic that I don't know about. Those are all the tag questions. If you managed to stick through this video this far, thank you so much for that. I genuinely really appreciate it. I just want to throw my two cents in on this because I don't think that the beauty community is any more of a toxic place than literally any other industry. There are always people who are going to be nasty and hurtful and narcissistic in every, every industry. But I can say from my experience here, my many years here in the beauty community on Instagram and on YouTube, most people are genuine and most of the friendships you see are real and really based in just mutual love. I will never say that the beauty community is toxic because the beauty community literally saved my life. There's no way that, you know, 1% of the people, even if they are the biggest or the loudest, could ever, ever take that away from us. I would love to hear who your favorite creators are here in the beauty community, even if they're not purely makeup based. Tell us about skincare, hair care, nails, fashion, everybody. Everybody belongs here. I truly believe that and I hope that you feel that way too. I would love to hear who your favorite creators are down in the comments and definitely go to the description box. Check out all of the channels that I have linked down there because there are some wonderful people waiting for you to watch them. I'm not just saying that because a lot of them are my friends. I'm not saying it because they're my friends. They're my friends because I can say that about them. Does that make sense? As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Try my best to get through this. All right. Oh, this is so outside of my comfort zone. So, oh, oh, <laughs> so shady. I don't know. Okay, deep cleansing breaths. I know I'm gonna get sidetracked. I'm gonna be all over the place in this video. As long as I don't cry, we'll be good. Sometimes when I get mad, I cry. Does anybody else feel that way? I just get so mad that I just cry. It also happens when I'm happy, um, nervous, embarrassed, and uh, pretty much any other emotion. Just sometimes you just gotta cry. Is it five years? Holy <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Think about something not emotional. What is not emotional? Hot dogs. Grilling hot dogs. Pretty straightforward. Also delicious. No offense vegans. They probably make vegan hot dogs for you. Okay. Back to earth. All right. Ah, okay. I'm sorry for yelling. I just get, you know, be nice to my friends. Okay. Love you, Sam. Okay. A lot of these people are people that I know. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the lawnmower in the background. There's nothing I can do. Like, there's nothing I can do. Oh, wow.
forever right but it's here in the beauty 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 and if they try well they'll never see this video anyway so it doesn't matter hmm now I'm sad oh my gosh I'm literally sweating that was nerve-wracking I don't ever talk about other people in the beauty community unless I'm shouting out people, um, collabing with people, or um, reviewing like a product that another influencer made. So I didn't say anybody's name. I think we all know what I'm talking about. Whatever. <sighs> okay, anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go cool off a little bit. Thanks for watching. I love your face so much. Love your face so much. Have a great day. Wash your hands, wear your mask, subscribe to positive people, and I love your face. Bye!